Security agencies investigating the terrorist attack at Parsons Green uh, in London have arrested one person in connection with that attack. In fact, the police have uh, arrested an 18-year-old man in the port area there. The man is in custody at a local police station. He will be transferred to a South London police station in due course. Syria police officials said the arrest will lead to more activity from uh, officers uh, for strong investigative reasons. We will not give any more details on the man arrested at this stage. London's uh, Parsons Green Station, remember, reopened Saturday morning after an improvised explosive device exploded on the London Underground train. The Islamic State has uh, claimed responsibility for that attack that uh, led to British Prime Minister Theresa May to call for the highest level of security in London, leading to the deployment of soldiers on the ground. I would urge any members of the public who have any information or footage about what happened this morning to pass it to the police urgently. The threat level remains at severe. That means that a terrorist attack is highly likely, but this will be kept under review as the investigation progresses. And the public should go about their daily lives, but remain vigilant. And people who are travelling in London will see an increased armed police presence on the transport network, and they will see security will be increased, and the police will, of course, do what is necessary to protect the public. The threat of terrorism that we face is severe, but together, by working together, we will defeat them. President Trump also called for adopting a proactive approach in combating terrorism by implementing tougher and more specific travel ban. We have to be very smart, we have to be very, very tough, which perhaps we're not nearly tough enough. Meanwhile, the United Nations also strongly condemned the London train attack. The organization also expressed solidarity with the United Kingdom in the wake of the attacks. Uh, we're obviously uh, following and, and tracking the, the developments in, in London this morning, uh, the attack which left ma many people injured. Uh, we condemn the attack and uh, we wish a speedy recovery to those who were injured. The UN stands in solidarity with the people and government of the United Kingdom, and we hope the perpetrators uh, or perpetrator will be quickly brought to justice.